All right, Kipsters, we're going to begin this video series on probability uh, with just defining what probability is at first. Uh, so probability is actually really important uh, because it is useful in everyday life. We use it all the time, and it really is just helpful for us to determine if something is likely, if something's going to happen, or if it's not going to happen. Uh, probability is, is used in determining whether or not it's going to rain. Like if you hear there's a 30% chance it's going to rain, uh, then it's less likely to rain than it is if the percentage were 70%. Okay? Um, so probability has to do with uh, whether something is going to happen, if it's possible or likely. So is something possible? That means can it happen? Or is it impossible? That means it's never, ever going to happen. And then we also have somewhere where it might be possible or it may be closer to impossible to complete. Uh, probability will always be given to you in fraction form. So the definition of probability is, and this is where our definitions really come in. So probability is going to be written as a fraction, and probability will be equal to the number of chances an event can occur number of chances an event can occur all over the total possible outcomes and if you've been in class you know what's gonna come after this otherwise known as the TPO. All right? So probability is the number of chances an event can occur all over the total possible outcomes. So probability will always be a fraction. Okay? Uh, you can express it as a fraction, and we know that percents are fractions as well, so you can also express it as a percent. Okay. So you have uh, another way of thinking about it. You might also see this. This symbol right here means the probability of whatever happens inside here. So the probability of red might be the P of red. Okay, that's another alternate way of seeing it. I like thinking of probability as knock over TPO. The number of chances an event can occur all over the total possible outcomes or the TPO. So knock over TPO. Knock over TPO. <laughs> Knock over TPO. I just got that. Okay, so uh, probability will be that. Now, probability will be either possible, something's possible. So uh, if something is always going to happen, then the probability will be 1. If something can never happen, this is like never, it's impossible, it's never happened ever. It cannot happen because the opportunity for it to happen doesn't even exist um, and that's zero so probability can is going to be greater than or equal to zero but less than or equal to one so if you're getting an answer like this three over two and you're being asked a probability question then you know the answer is incorrect because probability can never be greater than one this is greater than 1 because uh, it takes two halves to make 1. And here I have three halves. So that's more than 1 because 2 divided by 2 is 1. So if ever your numerator is greater than your denominator, you know that something is uh, definitely not correct when you're dealing with probability. So probability can exist anywhere within this range. Okay? It can't be less than 0 either. So never, uh, closer to never, uh, like halfway likely and then this is what will always happen okay so these are just numbers to represent words alright so we've seen that the definition of probability is given to us now let's actually see how this works and plays out in probability problems All right, so say for example, you have some M&Ms here.
and let's see this is our candy jar or our bag of candy that we have all right so we have a bag of candy and say for example uh, I want to find the probability what is the probability and I'll also write it like that probability of pulling out a red M&M right probability of a red M&M so probability is the number of chances that that event can occur so I want the red over the total possible outcomes how many exist within the bag okay um, so outcomes are just results how many actual results do I have in the bag all right so let's look here red probability that I can pick red let me first use a tree diagram to figure this out just to sort my information all right the possible outcomes are red so I'll put red there yellow and blue okay uh, how many red one two two how many yellow one two three three and how many blue one two two All right now how many total possible outcomes exist well let, let's see two plus three is five and five plus two is seven so this would be two out of seven three out of seven two out of seven so let's see there are two red M&Ms one two red M&Ms out of how many total one two three four five six seven so seven that works alright uh, now let's just go to our question what's the probability of picking a red well, I'll start here and I'll go to the red probability of picking a red is two sevenths so that's how you solve probability questions when you are given uh, some information and you need to figure out what the probability of the answer is um, now clearly uh, it's not close to one because you would have to be seven sevenths in order to be close to one this is closer to zero sevenths so the probability of this happening if I did the experiment seven times would be probably um, two times this actually happening with me picking out a red um, M&M uh, if you actually did this, it'd be a really cool experiment for you to try. Uh, take a bag of M&Ms and put a certain number inside. Uh, maybe you might want to take these, put them inside a bag that you can't see into. Otherwise, it wouldn't give M the M&Ms an equal chance of being picked. I just remembered <laughs> that we uh, this was a very simple problem. And I want to give you uh, a problem where it's not as uh, as simple as this. So let's do one more uh, where we're trying to find the probability of picking a red or a green, sorry, a red or a blue M&M, okay? So if the prob you're just picking it once, you're picking into the bag, and what's the probability that you'll get either a red or a blue M&M, all right? So what you would do is... Uh, there's just one event happening here so all you're going to do is uh, take the number of red that's two sevenths and add that to the number of blue all right when you see or it typically means to add uh, with probability and then blue is two sevenths so you add two sevenths and two sevenths and they have the same denominator so it's really just um, It's really just 2 plus 2 all over 7. Uh, the number of no, total possible outcomes are 7. And the number of chances to get red is 2. And the number of chances of blue are 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. Uh, and you'd get 4 sevenths as your answer. Uh, you don't want to make the mistake and think that the answer is uh, 4 fourteenths. Uh, because then you'd be actually uh, changing the problem. And you'd get the incorrect answer. So probability. Uh, whenever you see a uh, probability of red or blue, um, you're just going to simply add up the number of red, add up the number of blue, and um, then you're going to put it all over the total possible outcomes. And looking at our tree diagram, it helps you to understand it.